All right, as you can see that uh, my cluster services are running under local sys admin and it's not running under a, a cluster service account. But we wanna leave it that way because we wanted to produce some errors. Now I think that we're ready to create cluster. Let's take a look in our list. What do we need to create the cluster? Right here, you need a cluster unique name, right? In my case, 2016 cluster is my cluster unique name and this is the server, uh, this is the user that is going to create the cluster. Right now, this user does not have permission to create delete object in Active Directory and we'll see what kind of error that we get into. And uh, from networking point of view, uh, this is my cluster unique IP address. In my case, it's 70. You need to get that from your uh, networking team or your system team. So let's go and uh, first we will validate the cluster. Validation before creating the cluster is if everything is okay on our local nodes. If we're missing some something on our local node, the validation will tell us right then. So let's go ahead and check that. I'm gonna open up Failover Cluster Manager. Right click and click Validate Configuration. This is just the configuration of local nodes. Click next and add your nodes here. In my case, it's SQL prod one and SQL prod two. Click add. Click next. And click on run only test I select. The reason I'm doing that, that this is gonna run the uh, storage test in availability configuration. Usually every node has its own storage, so we don't need to run that. But if you want to run it, you can run it, run that as well. Click on run only test I select, click next. And I'm gonna take the storage out and click next. And this is just the validation of our cluster configuration on local nodes. That we haven't gotten to the point where we will create the cluster. This validation would have given us a, a warning if we would have a, uh, if we would not have the private IP, uh, but it wouldn't stop us from creating the cluster as I said in the beginning of the video. All right, looks like everything looks good on our local failover cluster validation point of view. You can take a look on the view report and go on each validation and see the summary. I'm gonna click finish and click on create cluster now. This is the real deal right here. Click finish and click next. Right here, the cluster name in my case is 2016 cluster and IP address is right here, 70 in my case, 192.168.170, click next. And I will be unchecking this all add all eligible storage to the cluster. If you have a quorum, you might want to just leave it like this. Quorum disk is that what I mean? Click next. And as you can see that error has occurred. So we'll see once it's done what kind of error we face and we will resolve that right here. Click view report, expand that. All right, the first error we see right here, creating computer object, it has an issue. It says create computer object 2016 cluster on domain controller right here. We don't have permission to create computer object. And rest of the errors will be taken care of once we take care of first error right here. My nodes were part of a previous cluster. Maybe that's why it's showing me and to use clear uh, cluster node. But uh, if you have permission, if you don't see this error and you directly see this clear cluster node error, you have to clear your uh, 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 node manually after you take that from uh, previous cluster. So that's okay. We were expecting this error. I'll go and give permission to, keep in mind that you, when you send this error, to your uh, system team, do let them know that uh, who was the user who was trying to create the cluster. If they have monitoring system, they will be able to see that somebody was trying to create the object in the Active Directory. But send them this error 
and uh, also uh, with the username. So in my case, it's Tech Brothers slash Raza. So I'll go in my Active Directory and um, provide that permission and run this validation again and see if um, we take care of this error. I'll be using different account. Because that account doesn't have permission to create, to change any permissions in my Active Directory. Here's my Active Directory. And this is my computers. If you have other OUs under this computer, you need to go to that OU. In my case, I just have one OU that's called computer. Right click on that and go to properties. If you're a sysadmin and you don't know how to provide permission, uh, I'm sure you do, but uh, in case you need a little help, this part will help you. Click on security and click on add. And I'm looking for this user to provide permission. Click OK and click on advance. And as you can see right here is that user. Click on edit and go all the way down where it says create computer objects. Create computer objects and delete computer objects. That's it. Click apply. OK. OK, and we will get out of this server. All right, I was looking in domain, basically, my DNS. So here's our uh, failover clustering again. Click Finish, that's OK. Right click and click on Create Cluster. Click Next and add your um, nodes again. Click on add, next, give your cluster name and IP again, click next, and I'm going to uncheck uh, add all eligible storage to the cluster, click next. And this should take care of that error. And we should be able to create our cluster without any error. All right, click Finish. Let's take a look on our cluster if both nodes are added. Both nodes are added and they are up. No role has been added yet. Click on Networking. This is the network. Let me expand that. So this is the private network right here, 11 and 10. This is eight and nine. This is the in external network. As you can see, cluster and client and this is cluster only so close this let's take a look on our next what we're gonna do so creating cluster is completed now we have a task to configure availability group in SQL server let's go and do that I'm gonna close this and open SQL server configuration manager Right click on SQL Server 2016 Configuration Manager, run as admin. Click yes. And here is my SQL Server services. Right click on that, go to properties, and click on always on availability group. And as you can see, the, since this node is added into that for, uh, cluster that we just created, in my case is 2016 cluster, it already detected it, but that's not good enough you have to click on enable always on group 
and click apply this will restart the services that is okay click okay and let's restart the services while it's restarting the services we will go on to our other node and do the same thing right click on SQL Server Configuration Manager apply OK click OK and restart the services All right, these services restarted fine. Let's take a look on uh, Bluepod, that's done too. Let's open SQL Server Management Studio and our next target is the configuration is completed. Uh, we want to create availability group.